Hi, this is Noma Dimitri from The Garden. All of us know that uh, plants, including trees, have leaves, and these leaves have something called chlorophyll, and this chlorophyll is green, and this green substance called chlorophyll absorbs sunlight from the sun and somehow turns it into energy to nourish and help grow the plant. Everyone knows this. But what happens when, and this by the way, is a, a young beech tree. You can see the characteristic leaves of the beech. Uh, this is a particularly young one. It's, it's not even my height. It's, it's, it goes to the, to the height of my mouth. Uh, and it has a long ways to go until it reaches. One day, I will not be alive by then. It would, in principle, be really, really high. And it would cover everything above me and shield me from the sunlight. So this is the, the typical plant. But what happens when you have this? This is not green. As you can see, it's red, red or reddish, uh, if you want. Uh, so what's the story here, and why? Number one, let's 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 discuss what this is first, and let's take a little distance. Here is this thing here that I was just showing it to you. It so happens that this thing is also a beech tree, like this one. And people that with sharp eyes have already noticed that the leaves are actually kind of similar. So number one, there they are. Even though the color is different, it's very similar. It's a similar shape and structure. So, so. That thing, the, the green thing and this thing, this red-black thing, are the same. They're beaches. So what goes on here? First of all, I will tell you about the form. This one is upright, okay? And this one is not. This one is drooping. Uh, in fact, the whole drooping function of plant exists in many, many different kinds of plants that you might know. Um, a classic one is the willow. You're used to the weeping willow, which is a weeping form of the willow, but there's such a thing as a normal willow which does not weep, which does not droop. So this particular one is a weeping, if you want, or a drooping beach in which the leaves, instead of pointing up, they're actually all pointing down. And these are the branches, as you can see here, these are the branches, and they're all falling down. So that's one particularity of the thing. The second particularity of the thing is the color, the red. Why? How does that work? Well, it ends up that chlorophyll is green, is only part of the story. There's not just one kind of fill, chlorophyll. Uh, there are other substances with different colors, um, yellows and reds and oranges that also manage to photosynthesize sunlight basically to get energy from the sun and provide it to the plant and some of them have reddish or reddish black colors such as this one um, so that extends the story and helps us understand how it can exist that this particular plant has this color and is not green because it has other kinds of chlorophylls that are not green. They have different names, they're called xanthins or whatever, but let's not get stuck on terminology. Now, last and important point, this one versus that one has two basic differences. One of them is upright, the other one is drooping, and one of them is green and the other one is red. This one, the beautiful one, the rare one, this one, pays the price for its rarity because it ends up that drooping is not as great for the tree as going upright. Um, up, you go upright and you go and reach the sun very quickly. You stay drooping, drooping, you move less quickly to the sunlight so others can shade you and you have a disadvantage. But the biggest disadvantage this nice beautiful dark one has is the red type of chlorophyll that it has. Ends up is not as efficient in capturing sunlight as the green kind. Therefore, 